Okay, welcome back to the episode of Mass Effect 3, the HD playthrough with the texture mod installed. Uh, we just finished the Tuchanka priority mission, and we're back on the Normandy, and there are conversations everywhere, so we'll get right to it. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. Well, that's a place we haven't gone to in a long time. The Turians have given us top-level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan-Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see her in action. <laughs> Commander? Yeah, baby. She wants my body. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she'll get over it. <laughs> Huh, cool. Wow. I remember that episode that I recorded. That was a long time ago. Okay. And then we head to the bridge, because Garrus is up there. And we gotta be careful on the bridge, because uh, freaking that one spot... All right, my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turia gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. I'm glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. To save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel. And then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. <laughs> Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his Reeve took over. It could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Solarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. 
I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Let's hope our luck holds. Alright, let's see. I wonder where all the Krogan will live now. I've never seen what you'd call a house on Tachanka. I wonder where all the Krogan will live now. Commander. Okay. You, like I said, you gotta be really careful with that uh, spot on the bridge, because you will uh, get stuck, and it is a freaking nightmare. Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Like I said, literally gotta go all over the ship. We'll feed our fish, listen to our crazy techno slash tr whatever the hell that music is. Uh, where is he at? Morden Solus. There he is. That sucks. Uh, that scene ripped me up, man. That was... Dang. That that sucks. Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. The Genophage cured. The Krogan have no reason to hold back now, do they? Rex knows what he's doing, but can he keep the Krogan in check? Or will this be the start of another Krogan empire? Eve's organizing the female Krogan. She reminds me of some of the more formidable matriarchs I've known. The Krogan won't let themselves fall by the wayside again. Not like they did after the rebellions. We'll have to get used to them having a bigger part in the galaxy. I hope the Krogan live up to their ancient legacy, and for the better. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. <laughs> uh, yeah. A pleasure to see you. Yeah, shut up, Glyph. Oh, bastard. This is kind of odd, but she mentions Garrus. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars. I think he actually likes them. Nothing to report. All right, I, I'm I'm going to reassign the uh, skills because I think, yeah, I need to get rid of sticky grenade and probably sabotage. Uh, so I'm going to probably switch these up quite a bit. Um, I'm debating on whether or not to keep disruptor ammo just because if I do, I mean I'm more of a sniper I get. But here's the thing: uh, this right here increased damage to frozen and chilled targets by an additional hundred percent. That is really nice when I have to use that. Uh, but this one also, uh, this right here, increased damage to frozen targets from all sources by 50%. I mean, that that's going to give me a lot more damage than, say, something, let's see, uh, like this one doesn't even give you bonus. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about it. But you guys let me know in the comments or message me or whatever. What are you up to now? I'm uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small? Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Well, keep talking to the Turians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Hello, Shepard. <laughs> Chink. <laughs> you racist. Oh, uh, I'm going to hell. Oh, by the way, if any of you guys want to play Mass Effect 3 multiplayer with me, um, I usually play Platinum, but I can play anything. So message me, let me know. I will be happy to indulge you in a game. Uh, procurement, yeah, we'll get all that later. Let's see, let's go talk to home. Let me G. You think that cure they dispersed could do anything to us? We're not going to start growing scales or anything, right? Maybe now that we have the Krogan on board, we can go back to fighting the Reapers. I was looking at the specs on that Reaper you took out on Tachanka. That was one of the small ones? Don't get me wrong, it's still dead, but damn. There was nothing small about it. Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Tarquin. I'm guessing that was Morton? I don't know. <laughs> At 
last job with Tachanka was intense. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. Ma'am. Ma'am. Alright. Oh, oh, I do... Um, you know what? I'll come back down to the engineering section and get all that stuff, uh, all my weapon upgrades <laughs> upgraded. I'll, uh, I'll actually just do this video really short. Huh? This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which planet is that again? Beckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I helped them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. Commander. Yeel. Allers. Alright, let's see what Holmey has to say. Oh, we can turn on that thermal pipe thing. Think about that little mech dog roaming the ship. You <laughs> mean Sophie? I think she's cute. What purpose does she serve? I guess I have a soft spot for worthless dogs. Look how long I've been with you. <laughs> Adams would like to speak to you. You should go see Adams, Commander. Commander. Good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. Well done, everyone. Need anything, Commander? Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. All good, Commander. Commander? Get open, you freaking door. Uh, let's see. I, I don't know why I'm going down here. <laughs> That's where Jack used to be. Crazy Jack. I wish she uh, played a little bit more of a role in uh, in this game, but whatever. All right, this is our last stop. Commander, you settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Pain. And a Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. 
It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. The stone has no choice in the form it would take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. You have killed a Reaper. I would like to have seen it. No matter. There will be more. Plenty more. Yes, if the Krogan seek retribution for the past, do not waste time on sterility plagues. Destroy them where they stand. In the meantime, they are useful cannon fodder against the Reapers. <laughs> do not care what others think. Do what you must. Do not care what others think. Alright, I think I'm going to probably cut the video here. Um, I'll go through and get all the upgrades and engineering. Uh, this is a short video, so I'll, I'll post this uh, later on today. Uh, so you guys have uh, another video. Um, anyway, thanks for the likes and subscribes. You guys let me know about the skills. I may just change it and kind of see how it does. I can always uh, change it back, I think. I'll have to figure out how to do it. But um, anyway, uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video.